Hello and welcome to the video. <clears throat> well, as you've seen from the title of the video, uh, we've got COVID. Um, so yeah, it's true, uh, we've all got um, COVID at the moment, so I thought I'd do a, a bit of a vlog. Um, but before I do that, I hope you all had, <clears throat> excuse me, going to be a bit of coffee and probably involved here, but I hope you all had um, a wonderful Christmas and New Year's, given the, the situation. Um, obviously, you know, things haven't been so brilliant for us, but we, we started off with a nice Christmas. So that's the main thing. Um, so I'm sitting here in the van, which I haven't touched for a little while. And uh, even the steering wheel is uh, dirty. Got sort of, if you can see that, sort of uh, humidity, um, mould, I'd say. So yeah, uh, I think I need to get myself better and get on with things. So, uh, well, back to the, the COVID thing. I'm sure that um, a lot of people are going to be interested or probably will switch off. I don't know, but um, this is all completely unscripted. Uh, usually I have a little piece of paper at the bottom when I do the vlogs to, to have some pointers, but what the hell, I'm not really in the mood to do that. Um, so yeah, um, to, to make it fairly short, we, we caught um, we caught it from some friends, um, but uh, we were not completely reckless. Um, we were very reasonable with uh, uh, trying to keep things under control. We made a mistake. Um, after two years of being careful, um, we decided to go and spend uh, Christmas with um, my daughter's um, friend, her best friend and her parents who live in, you know, in the village. And um, we we got one of those pharmacy tests, you know the kits, because uh, we had some from um, well through my daughter from her college, and so we said, oh we'll we'll test ourselves, and off we went. Uh, we had a lovely evening with them, um, and um, didn't really consider the fact that we could catch something, uh, even though obviously the Omicron. Um, variant is very prolific in, in France and in the UK at the moment um, and so we just you know carried on as usual um, we're if, if in and ahhing a bit about whether to see our um, well my family-in-law um, Madame Mega Bredvan's family who live nearby um, and in the end we decided to get together um, that was on Boxing Day, so Christmas Eve we ate with friends, Christmas Day we spent here, we just as four. Um, Christmas, uh, Christmas Day I wanted to spend, you know, sort of like a day here, sort of the British way so to speak. Because in France uh, a lot of people tend to celebrate on Christmas Eve. Uh, and Boxing Day we thought, well, okay, we'll go and see my in-laws. And uh, we had a lovely time with them as well, they were an absolutely lovely meal. Uh, in a nice big room, well ventilated, um, and uh, we were very reasonable. Um, but it was on the 27th, so the day after Boxing Day, that I woke up feeling, um, I best explain it, feeling a bit hungover. Uh, it's a long time since I felt like that, because I don't tend to drink an awful lot these days. Um, in my youth, yes, but uh, now, no. Um, so, um, well, my in-laws were lovely enough to give us some champagne, some wine and so on. Typical Christmas type thing. Um, and so I wasn't really surprised that I'd feel hungover because, like I said, I don't drink a lot. But um, I had a sore throat. I woke up with it during the night. It wasn't a really bad sore throat. It was just on sort of this one side. And it was really irritating. Um... So, Madame Mega Bread Van <clears throat> and the, the kids went off shopping. Um, and uh, I thought, well, I'll, I'll try taking a test because I was a bit, something made me feel uncomfortable. And it was positive. Um, so, I rang up um, uh, Madame Mega Bread Van and the kids and said, uh, hey, uh, I've got a positive test. Uh, and they said, well, try doing another one. So I got another kit, tried it again, positive again. And so that started the chain of events where we were rushing 
to to ring the in-laws, ring our friends, and say, "Oh, um, you know, John's got a positive test. Uh, we better be careful." And uh, I think um, over the next few days, we all went for tests. Well, we we went for tests that night at the local pharmacy, which was a bit of a joke because uh, you know nobody seemed to know what to do. Um, you had to, to go and register and then queue again to be tested and so on. So that was Monday evening. Uh, today is Monday a week later, by the way. Um, so we've been a week with, with COVID. So we had that test that Monday. Um, and since then, um, it's very strange because all four of us had different symptoms uh, to one degree and another. Um, uh, and Madam Megan Bregan found this been constantly just having headaches, coughing, no temperature at all, no fever, just feeling a bit under the weather. My son, uh, on the Monday, he was already ill. He was already starting to have a runny nose. Um, and uh, Monday, he had 40 degrees temperature. Uh, and he was ill Monday, Tuesday, mainly. And after that, it was okay. And he was he was on the on his new rowing machine that he got for Christmas. So, you know, fourteen years old, and obviously, uh, come on, the enfant en form. Uh, my daughter, um, she hasn't been vaccinated. She's only eleven, um, and she had uh, sort of like headaches and felt a little bit sick when she was lying down. But that lasted probably two or three days, if that. Uh, and she's perfectly fine now. Both the kids are fine now. Um, as for me, I have to be different. Um, I, I had the works, I think. I had um, cough, headaches, chest pains, because uh, when I coughed, it was too painful. Um, God. Um, my, my temperature went up and down like a yo-yo. So I was taking uh, paracetamol every six uh, hours to try to keep it down because it's going up and down all the time. Um, I usually have pains in my back, because I've got back problems, and uh, all that was amplified. It was really horrible. Um, and uh, that lasted from Monday until possibly Thursday. Thursday night, I was actually able to eat something, a meal, I had a soup, up until then I was eating toast, mainly, and drinking tea. Um, and uh, it, yeah, it's, it's been very strange for the four of us because, you know, we've all been different. Um, at the moment, um, Madame Megan Brevan's about the same. She's uh, she's uh, got headaches and coughs and things. I'm coughing. Uh, my head is a bit woozy. Um, head spinning a little bit. Um, and I wake up with a headache sometimes. But um, nothing, nothing untoward really uh, for the minute. Just feel a bit out of it. That's that's the best way to describe it. So really, I've not been doing an awful lot. Uh, so this is my first thing really. Um, first bit of activity is doing this vlog. Uh, so I can just uh, let you know what it's been like. Um, so we had we had test did the test on today's Monday. So we did a test. One of those kits again, you know, uh, on, um, was it yesterday, I think, yeah. All the days are merging together, it's terrible. So, yeah, we did the test yesterday. Um, so, me and the kids got a second line, but not a red line. It was like a very faint line. And our friends that we saw on Christmas Eve, they work in the health profession, believe it or not. And uh, they said to us, well, that means that you're still positive, but it's, it's going. So that's uh, that's the main thing is it's disappearing. So, you know, it's it's good times because um, you know although I feel a bit rubbish, um, I feel a hell of a lot better than I did this time last week. Um, for Madame Meg Breg Van, still a red line. So, you know, we're going to be staying at home. Um, confinement was supposed to be ten days. So far, uh, they've changed it to seven. Um, she's got to work from home three days a week. Um, the kids obviously can't go back to college because their class is being positive. And so for the minute we're going to sit tight and then tomorrow we'll do another test and see how that is. So yeah, that's the state of affairs at the moment regarding the COVID situation. 
Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. We'll just uh, try to take things easy. And sorry, my phone cut off again. Um, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully, you know, when I'm when I'm feeling a bit up to it, I'll get on with the van again. And as you've seen in the, the last video, it's going to be doing the front dash panel, which has been dragging on far too long now. Uh, all the bits are sitting in, in my office and waiting to be put together. But uh, I'm just I'm just not uh, really in the mood to do it at the moment. So anyway, thanks a lot for those of you who've um, you know given given us comments and supported us on Twitter. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been really nice of you to to, to ask how we are. Now and again and so on and uh, hopefully uh, the next video will be me doing something and not moaning about covid um but i felt it was just important to put it on the record to tell people how this is affecting us and how it can affect you probably but um for the minute we're double vaccinated we didn't get to get the booster um you know because um we couldn't get an appointment until the 18th of january and so um, we've come off quite well. Um, we didn't go into hospital, we stayed at home. And that's the main thing for everyone, I think, to take the pressure off the, the medical services and to try to deal with it yourself, uh, which is what we've done. Um, and, um, you know, like I say, we're just, we're just very, very lucky. Um, so yeah, we'll bring it to an end there. Um, thanks for watching, if you got this far. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, that's really important. I mean, I can't emphasise that, given what we've been through for the last week. And uh, support your friends, support your family. Do the shopping for them if you need to. We've been very lucky, my brother-in-law, Patrick, has, has helped us out with shopping. Um, you know, we've been extremely lucky. Um, but yeah, just take care of yourselves out there. Okay, see you in another video and we'll be doing something next time. So, see you then. Bye. Quand je reviens dans mon Nissan En maillot à mon lévis Au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne